black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with another mukbang story time today. Crushing some Subway. I have a Italian BMT. BMT can be interpreted any way you want. From what I know, I think it's called Big Meat Trio. Could be Big Meaty Taste. Could be Bun Mouth Totally? I don't know. Bad, bad one, but you know, I'm trying here. But yeah, BMT. I doubled up on the meats. Because when you have Subway, you gotta double up. Ooh, you gotta double up. Double up. But I guess I shouldn't be singing R. Kelly. Because we all know. Let me fix myself here in the mirror. Uh, we all know about the R. Kelly fiasco. He's kind of old news at this point, but I do love how he's just losing his mind on uh, in in the media and stuff. But uh, he's in jail now, I guess, and you know he's a little bit of a child molesty sort of rapist thing. And um, while we're on that subject, let's uh, let's 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 link that to my story time and talk about uh, young love. Um, the story time I'm going to talk about is between two appropriate aged people, uh, myself and a, and, a, and a girl, and then there's some other dudes involved in a sense. But uh, let's talk about my first real like deep crush back in the old grade seven days. Uh, you know, I had crushes before that, okay, uh, coming up right from, you know, having my, landed my first makeout at grade two, you know, toot my own horn, but uh, yeah. I had crushes on the come up, but nothing like my grade seven, eight crush. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you a story behind that and eat this sucker. This sucker right here. What do you need to know about it? You need to know that it has double meat. That's first off. Double meat, double the fun. That's what she said in a double penetration scene. I don't know, maybe. Uh, hopefully she got paid more. Double meat, double the fun. Lettuce, tomato, pickled cucumber, onion, green pepper, banana peppers, subway sauce, house sauce. It's like a vinaigrette dressing. Chipotle and ranch. Got 12 inches and we got to get it in. So... Couple of cukes, you're off to the side, you're front and center. Y'all know me, still the same OG, gotta get a bite low key before I go to the story. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. How do you slurp a sandwich? How do you slurp a sub? Just like how I did it. That's how. That's how you slurp a sub. You know what I mean? It's saucy in there. Mm. So I adjusted the lighting today. I think it should be better. Anyways. tell you a story about this girl she was like one of my deepest crushes ever like really emotionally played on my heart you know like that puppy love grade seven love so there's this girl in my school she's great ahead of me uh she's Blonde, had glasses, but like sandy blonde. Very cute and innocent style girl. Mm. But 
a lot of the boys were feeling this chick, right? She was attractive. She was hot. I think another factor that played in it is she was more developed. She was growing a chest. She was getting a pair and, you know, other girls around weren't quite on her level in terms of their pair. Like she was, you know, doubling down on her pair. So she had a lot of good things going for her. But anyways, I was in grade six and a lot of dudes, we all knew she was attractive and stuff. So she was in grade seven. At that point, you're like, Grade six, grade seven, she doesn't even know I exist. I'm not even on the radar. Because you don't really intermingle with grades. You like stay, you play on the playground with your grade. Like everybody stays within their grade. At least that's how it was at my school. So the next year she was moving up to grade eight. We're moving into grade seven. But what was happening was there's going to be too many kids for one whole grade seven class. So they did a grade seven uh, class and then a grade seven, eight split. And the grade eights were on like, they didn't have a lot of grade eights. So they're like, we're going to take four. I don't know why it was four, but it, it was like, I guess there was like 32 kids and they just, the, the, they're like, we can't have 36 kids in a grade seven class. So we're like, we're going to put four kids into a grade seven, eight split. So by some lottery, looks so good. Oh my God, the sub is actually amazing right now. By some weird chance, um, me and like my best friend and then two other dudes who were solid, like they were also my really good friends too. We got moved uh, into the grade seven, eight split. So now I'm in grade seven, but I'm kind of in grade eight. You know what I mean? I'm getting a taste of grade eight. Like I'm getting a little dip in my toe in the grade eight pond. And the grade eights had the hotter girls. My year, my grade, we had dusty women. Like they were trash. Like we had no real good outlooks, like no, no, no promise. Uh, maybe one or two, but they were so like reserved and whatever we had a couple like other sort of like girls that were they were fun to play like spin the bottle and like chicken with and stuff but they you know they weren't like hot they were just like had boobs or like a little more like less reserved i guess i should say like they were down to make out and stuff and do stuff but they were a little more dirty let's let's just say trash bin styles Anyways, so they weren't like the quality ones. And even like I was saying, my grade didn't have much quality. So anyways, I go into grade eight. Grade eight's got the banging checks. Um, so I'm in the seven, eight split. At first, the people in the seven, eight split were like reluctant to accept the fact that they had four grade sevens in their class. Like, oh my God, as if we have to have grade sevens, like they're plagued by the four grade sevens being in their class. On our side, we're like, fuck yeah. Like we're going to infiltrate. It's a glow up here. Like we're going to learn about this in grade, grade eight shit. We're going to, you know, we'll probably smoke some weed maybe like kind of shit. So we get in there and now my crush for this girl is like, full on because she used to be someone who I just would like see out at recess or see in the hall and be like, oh my God, she's so hot, but never talked to her because we weren't in the same grade. So now I'm having to do like, there's times I'm like in group projects or like I'm getting to sit by her and stuff.
But the problem was is that my my best boy and like the four grade sevens essentially we all were crushing on her like everybody all the dudes were into her even some of the grade eights obviously too luckily for us the grade eight dudes our competition were so dusty they were so brutal these dudes were just like nerdy they weren't cool whatever so some way somehow the uh the grade eight girls all start taking a liking like as as time goes on in in the season like in school the, the grade eight girls start realizing like the dudes in our grade suck like these kids are way cooler or these these younger guys are way cooler so the grade seven dudes we start kind of taking over and we're like kind of running shit we're like we're the ones like flirting with the girls getting like invited to like go hang out at recess like do weird like flirty shit at recess like going to little like make out parties and stuff and whatever whatever but the girl that i had that we all had a crush on she was like super innocent You know, she wasn't catching any bodies. She, like, I don't even really think she had, like, kissed anybody before. This sub is, like, hitting levels right now. Levels unknown. So, <clears throat> this one's for H3. Dunk my face in a bowler ranch for Ethan. It's just so good with a bunch of ranch. So anyways, me and my four boys, we're now all in a battle. We all know where everybody is at. Like, So it's like every recess and stuff. And as much as we can, we're trying to isolate her and like get it's it, We're basically playing grade seven, eight uh, bachelorette. She's the bachelorette. We're the bachelors. We're just trying to get in there. And uh, it's a battle at this point. We all we all like acknowledge between us. We're like, may the best man win. <clears throat> so everybody's kind of going for it. It's kind of flip flopping. Like sometimes she's like really into me. Sometimes she's really into my buddy. Sometimes she's into this other guy named Greg. Anyways. We're just trying to figure it out. We're like who's got the upper hand? It just seems like we're really neck and neck. And like I'm saying, and I said this before in other videos, this is like where the, tr like I was like in love with this girl. Like I would go home, I couldn't stop thinking about her. I, my like stomach would hurt at night. I just, or when I think about her potentially like out at like eight o'clock, like playing at the park with, or not playing, but you know, hanging out at the park with maybe one of my competitors, like I'd get all sad and shit. Never know what's going on behind the scenes. So I have all this paranoia and I'm all jealous. But at the same time, I had been doing very well. I had been getting in there, a lot of signals. The other thing too is like she was on my way home. Like we used to walk a block and a half together before we had to split. And then I lived like here and she lived here. Like we lived so close to each other. And uh, so I'd walk with her. Um... down to the end of this block, but then we'd just say goodbye. But her one, like her best friend was weirdly crushing on my stepbrother. So I guess like maybe her best friend was like, yo, I'm crushing on his stepbrother. He, he's crushing on you. You kind of like him, but you can't really pick out of all these boys who want you. But she basically threw me a, like a wing girl. Like she didn't wing man. She wing girled me and was like, let's, she's like, I want his his stepbrother's attention so he can like relay that message to him and talk him into that and then you should like go with him and we should all hang out together like in my basement <laughs> in this girl's basement and like you know 
So I get like this lucky in. And so this girl basically, I guess, sort of like helped me out by, by saying that. So like, it was like a Friday. And I like walked her like we usually do. And then as we split, she like, she leaned in and gave me like a kiss on the cheek. And I was like, so like, oh, 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 in my head. And then like, turn, we turn, walk away, try to be cool. By the time I get to my block, I'm just like, yes, like, oh, yes, like I fucking win. I knew it, I'm winning. Like, I got this. So I'm like, she's mine. Talk to my stepbrother, convince him to like like this girl. They're down. Now it's on. The plan is on. We make the plan. She's like, come to my house on like Saturday, and we'll just like watch stuff and like hang out in the basement or whatever. So we do that. There's like two couches. Me and her, this girl, are getting like at this point we're like holding hands and like just doing really like soft innocent shit. And let me remind you, by this time, as a as the age that I am. I've done a bunch of weird shit with other girls that are like more dati, but this girl was, you know, she was the prized possession. She's the princess. She was like un, untainted. She had been not ever been touched, never been, never been kissed, like kind of thing, right? So that added this weird pressure because I actually really, really liked her. And I was like, you know, I was like loving on this girl. So like I had experience, she didn't, but I, I didn't want to like, spoil the fruit, you know? So I was all nervous and shit and we're just like hanging out. My stepbrother and that girl, the other girl are weirdly like, they're getting like great, pretty, like they're in like under a blanket, like making out and shit. He like gets a handy, all that. And then uh, me and her are very like, just, we're just like cuddling essentially. So it gets to the point where I, we're like cuddling a lot and hanging out. And like, I, I basically, we're kind of like seeing each other. We're going out and same with my stepbrother and the other girl. So now we're whatever. All the, the guys at school are all jealous and bummed because they didn't win. I got her and locked her in. Eventually... I didn't know how to make the move on this girl. I could never figure out like how I'm just gonna kiss her and stuff. So this all happened nearing the end of the year, closer to summer. So I, did, I had minimal time to like get my shit going before it was summertime. And then in the summer, I always had to leave. I had to go to like camp. So I wouldn't be in the city for the summer. I just, I wasn't gonna see her for a couple months, which sucked. I was like, that was my first heartbreak. Like my heart was, was hurting knowing that I'm gonna have to leave for the summer. And she's like definitely gonna forget me. And she's going into grade nine and I'm just going to be stuck back in grade eight. And then she'll be in high school. So it's like a couple weeks before summer. Finally, we're in this, uh, at my buddy's house and I finally just like make the move to kiss her. And because she had never kissed before or like properly made out, it was like the most awkward, just not fluent, not good, bad vibed kiss. Um, from that point, shit just went south. It like, I don't know, it just kind of fell apart. And then also like school was out and I was leaving to camp. So I leave, we lose touch. It sucks, whatever. All heartbroken. She goes off to high school. I'm all like, damn, what a bummer. So 
That's why I go through grade eight now with my grade, you know, my, my grade dusty lineup. Grade eight's like whatever, just kind of nothing special, I don't think, really. And then uh, when it came time for me to go to high school, I was like, the high school that everybody from my school was going to go to is the one that she went to that literally everybody from my school goes to because it's like literally across the block. Like it's behind our school, like a block away. So, but everybody in my household was going to go to a different high school, all my stepbrothers and shit. And I was like kind of forced into going to a different high school. But when I was picking my high school, I was definitely considering, I'm like, if I go over there, she'll be there and she'll be in grade 10 and maybe we can like rekindle the bond. Well, that didn't happen, but can you imagine this? The girl who had never kissed up until grade eight, till she kissed me basically, by grade nine, by mid grade nine. So she would have been mid grade 10 at this point. Gets knocked up, has a child by the time grade 11 hit. Do you believe that? Let's just say your boy dodged a bullet on that one. I'm not trying to have no kid at grade, grade 10 and grade 11. I'm not trying to have a kid now. I'm not even really trying to have a kid. So, life unfolded as it should have. I, I didn't get involved in having a kid. I, she, she was clearly a freak inside and really just wanted to get stuffed. And apparently that all unfolded as soon as high school came around. Because uh, a lot of stuff came out about her after saying that basically once she got into high school, she was you know, on some shit. So she ended up having a kid uh, real quick, real young. And I went on my way and I did my own different high school experience. But uh, that was, that is the girl. She, she fully had my heart like deep uh, in the early days, grade seven styles, grade eight. But I mean, to be honest for her having a kid and such, as time went on, she remained very, very hot. She was, you know, I'd still see, you know, through Facebook and stuff, updates and pictures of her over the years and still a very hot girl. Uh, oddly enough, actually, when it was, I went to college, I think I was 19, she ended up being in one of my classes in college or two of my classes in college and we knew exactly who each other were. I just hadn't spoken to her in five years, you know what I mean? Five, six years. So we were in the same classes in college, but like college is huge. Like you could sit like, you know what I mean? Um, so we didn't really rekindle anything. We, I didn't really talk to her. She had a kid at this point. She was like in a, a relationship and whatnot. So she was just living her own life. And uh, there was like too much awkward, not awkward history, but I just, it was like too, I just didn't want to like, rehash old stuff so we used to sit in the same college class together for a while uh and just not we didn't really have a relationship at all so yeah that was, that was pretty funny too uh anyways uh yeah that was a good one and uh, the sub was delicious hopefully everything on this with the camera was good i think i got it figured out pretty good now do i have a saucy face probably or an allergic reaction i don't know but till the next one you guys know what to do you gotta eat good live well and stay true